to another video of Chris and Archie's models and trains and I've just been to a birthday party, my friend Rafa's, and in the party bag was this. So it's not like it's just a clip together set as Revel have been doing with the Star Wars stuff recently. You actually have to paint it and glue it together. This will be a fun challenge for me. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay, so it comes with the instruction manual. Oh, I'm going to need the parts and cardboard box to get your hands stuck in. <laughs> well, you don't really get your hands stuck in. What have we got? It says it's 23 parts. That's not an awful lot, but some of them are quite small and fiddly. Looks pretty well moulded. Kind of what you'd expect from Ravel. We've made a fair few kits before. Mm. What's the first step, Arch? We're actually going to build it now. Yeah. I'm trying to open my lolly. You can eat a lolly while making a kit. It's a pretty simple kit, 23 parts. Alright, so we're now in our spraying room. Here I've got some plastic primer from Halfords, nice and cheap, I think. And I'm just going to do a light spray over them, turn them over and do the other side, just to make sure the paint sticks on. Okay. Yeah, make sure you don't breathe all that nasty paint in. Also, very important, keep a room well ventilated, window open when doing spraying. Okay, so we've got all the pieces decently sprayed. And now we're going to cut out pieces one and two. So one's right here. Oh, by the way, what we're going to do is we're going to cut them out with these pliers and then file them down with this file so let's try and get oh why did I do this? Okay. Okay. is it cut? no okay now cut. I think I turn the other way. Now squeeze. Okay. So that's piece one out. So should I get the other piece out and file it off? Yeah, just file this down, eh? Okay, so I'm now going to file it down. Get the edge nice just, and smooth. Yeah. Okay, I think that's decent. How are you finding the instructions, Arch? good. Are they quite simple and easy to follow? Yep. Okay, so the guys are now painted fully. I've stuck this guy in and I'm just going to stick this guy in. It is actually pretty fiddly, I have to say. Especially with pliers in the way. Just go give a little bit of glue, maybe a bit for the feet. Okay, now to prop this guy in his seat and let him dry. While I, and while I wait, I'll put the lid on this glue. <laughs> Good idea. Oh, and after I've, once they've both dried fully, I'll stick them in here and these are actually four bits stuck to each other 
and all I did was splosh a little bit of glue there and a little bit of glue there to and it worked it just stuck like magic oh and also when you're cutting out these bits here make sure to leave a bit of space so when you you're cutting them off here make sure there's still a bit of excess sticking out I made the mistake of shaving it all off and then I had to glue it on instead of just slotting it on then doing a quick simple glue on the other side much easier if you just leave a bit okay so we've done the first part and we're just going to finish it off and then I believe do a bit of airbrushing what well, have you found the kit so far going together um Fairly, fairly good so far. There have been a few ups and downs, like sticking this bottom bit on was a bit of a pickle to get on, <laughs> and the bit that I shaved too much here became a bit loose, so we had to re-glue that. All in all, though, I mean, I've seen a fair few plastic kits now. I think this is extremely well made. The parts yeah. fit together very easily. Yeah, there was a couple of little problems, but hey, mm -hmm. that's the fun of modelling, isn't it? Yeah. Now these guns going to go on. Mm. Awesome. Your favourite part. <laughs> okay, so we've decided that we're not going to do it the ordinary colours. Instead, we're going to do it black around most of it. And then for the guns, we're going to have it black and then... Around here it fades into orange and the rest of the gun's orange. Now we're going to do this on both sides and we're going to use some spare decals that we've got. Okay, so what we've done here before we've started painting is we've wrapped the plastic in cling film and put it over the men. Now that stops the men and the... Pl and the glass from getting painted. Okay, so we're going to, we decided we're going to have a red stripe going down the vehicle. We've covered it in masking tape so that we, so it's easier to use the airbrush. And as you can see here, we're going to paint the gun red. So I'm going to be doing this one, then did this one. So let's see how it goes. Okay, now let's turn it over and now the gun. Okay, so it's pretty much dry now, so we're going to take the canopy and the masking tape off. So, yeah. I wonder why they call it masking tape. Maybe it's because it's for masking off areas that we don't want to paint. Possibly. I thought it was for making a mask. <laughs> we can try that another time. Yeah. In the news, the young boy Archie lost his face after trying to make a mask out of masking tape. Mm. Okay, that is pretty cool. Didn't go exactly how he wanted it, but it does look awesome. Now let's take the canopy off. Ooh. And they're still alive. Yay. Now we're going to pull this off. We're going to put this back on. Okay, so it's back on. Now, OK, 
Okay, so as you can see here at the snow speeder, we made a complete mess of the red line. So I'm going to start putting some tape over it so we can respray the line. Okay, so now we've put the tape on and re-sprayed it all black, we're going to reveal the red line that we've kept and let's see how it goes. That's gone really well. Ok so we've put the guns on the snow speeder now and it looks really good I have to say and we're just going to put a bit of detailing on these, we re-sprayed them so we're going to use this Tamiya water paint Yeah we've kind of thinned it down a lot so we're going to use it like a wash, it's a thinned out black isn't it? Mm. So we're going to be using this thick brush, in fact we'll show you, so as you can so we'll dab paintbrush in here and then we're just going to dab it in this tissue and then just brush and get all the detailing showing. Okay, so I fitted these end bits on again, and we're going to fit them on the wings now just to complete it. Let's see how this goes. All looking good? Kind of. It's quite stiff. on which would have looked really awesome but I think they're a bit too big for this so we're just going to put these numbers on the wings if you can see them how are we going to do that um we're going to put them in water for a bit mm. take them out and remove the sticker and just no, just slide straight on yeah they'll just sounds easy let's see it in action yeah I think what we'll also use is a little bit of decal fix from Humbrella, and it helps out, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Awesome. And then I'll give it... Yeah, give it a bit of decal. Oh, yeah, yeah. Any excess water coming off? Okay, so we've basically completed it now. In fact, we have completed it. So we're just going to put it on its stand and see what it looks like. Now, let's see if we can do it. Very shiny. And it goes in just like that. And there it is, folks. Lovely. As lovely can get. Stunning. What do you think of it overall as a kit? It was actually really good fun. It was good fun, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, It's very detailed, I have to say. Mm, I'm surprised at that. I also... Well, there was ups and downs. There were some bits that fitted together really well. The snap together stuff was great, I thought. Yeah. Some stuff was a little bit like tricky, these. wasn't it? these. These were quite difficult. Yeah. Also, what I loved about it was just the freedom of we're doing a fantasy model. It's not based on a real model steam engine. It's not based on a real tank or aeroplane. So we could do the colour scheme we wanted, because obviously that's what they had originally in the film, wasn't it? Yeah. And so our one's kind of gone over to the dark side, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Brilliant fun. It's officially on the dark side. <laughs> Darth 
they'd repainted it. <laughs> so, hope you enjoyed it and bye!